Today we're very lucky to interview Professor Francis Arnold. Francis is a professor of chemical engineering, bioengineering, and biochemistry at Caltech. And she has been a pioneer in the area of in vitro evolution and also synthetic biology. In, in reality, I think these two things go hand in hand. Is that right, Francis? Oh, I think you can't do one without the other. That is, you can't make new biological entities without understanding evolution. There are a lot of people who are afraid of this term, synthetic biology. What do you tell them? Oh, well, I hope it's going to solve a lot of problems for humanity, that uh, fearing it won't help us do anything useful. And, and biology is such an amazing uh, way to make new products, to make chemicals. We've, we've got to use biology. It's the master of chemistry. Uh -huh. So, so what, are you, what are your specific approaches that have made uh, the in vitro evolution work so effectively and, and will help solve these problems? Well, we'd love to be able to write the code of life from scratch, right? We'd like to be able to code a cell that will convert renewable resources into fuels, for example. We have no idea how to do that. So we have to use evolution, a blind algorithm, but a very powerful one to make the cells do that. What I discovered is that you can do this at the level of the DNA, and then you mutate the DNA and you breed the molecules. So it's actually interesting that some of the things you've been doing to understand these mutations from the in vitro evolution are really informing us about mutation mechanisms that happen within cells in ways that we really haven't been able to ask those questions before. Well, the difference between what I do and natural evolution is I've got the whole evolutionary record in my refrigerator, so I can go back and see exactly which mutations accumulated during the process of breeding these molecules. And it really tells amazing stories about how those, those new properties came about. Well, give us an example of one of the projects you're doing that you're really excited about right now. Oh gosh, there's so many, but one of the ones I'm working on is, is converting biomass into fuels. Um, we just had some real breakthroughs in building new molecules that will break down biomass efficiently and effectively using molecules that nature discovered, but we improve them in the laboratories so that they'll actually do it under industrial conditions. Mm -hmm. So uh, how, how, what, what? A little more detail. Well, you know, we take the molecules that nature made, but we make them better. So we'll take the DNA that encodes enzymes that microbes release into the environment, but they do it at low temperatures, for example. So we'll take that DNA and we'll breed it so that the microbes release enzymes that now function at high temperatures, and those work much faster than the ones that nature makes. That sounds great. How long do you think it'll be before these products actually make it to market before they're really going to be they're used in the market. In this way. They're in the market now. Uh -huh. I, oh, that's I get great. Here. There are so many industrial enzymes that are made using these methods already. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. It was very nice talking to you. Great to see you again. Thanks. Thanks.